We live full-time on the road, but BC is our home base. In 2018, we quit our jobs to travel the world, and we've been all over the place. But since 2020, we've been exploring Canada and the USA in our self-converted camper van. This week, we're headed back to Tofino to tell you everything you need to know about the trip from Vancouver to here. And we're starting with the drive from downtown Vancouver to Horseshoe Bay Terminal. Okay, so this morning we woke up and we got on the 1040 ferry going from Horseshoe Bay in North Vancouver to Nanaimo. And from Nanaimo, we are going to drive to Tofino. Getting on the ferry was pretty fine this morning. I think we had to be here half an hour in advance to secure our spot, but we just pulled up and parked in the lanes and now we are sailing right on time on the ferry if you haven't been to bc before there is a white spot which is like a bc restaurant and they also have it in alberta and stuff too um but it's definitely a bc thing especially whenever we're in ontario we're always like we have to go to white spot when we're in uh vancouver they have their old veggie burger but they don't have beyond meat yet which i'm like bc fairies can you get beyond me on the white spot menu, please? Here we go, it's gonna be about 90 minutes to two hours on this ferry headed to Nanaimo. If you're really lucky on BC ferries, you'll see whales, which we did, but our cameras didn't capture. I hope they come right up next to the ferry. That's crazy! Come on, come on guys! Damn. I've never seen a whale on a BC ferry. That's really cool. Last time we saw whales, we were in Souk, yeah. I think, on the island. Wow. So. That's a good omen. Yeah. It's good luck. Do you get any shots of the whales? I've tried, but it's not really like the right camera for it. When you get on the ferry, there's always a line for white spots, so you can try and rush and be first, or you can wait for the line to die down a bit, but there's always gonna be a line for the white spot on the ferry. About a 35 minute drive off of the ferry on your way to Tofino is Old Country Market, also called Goats on the Roof. We're gonna go check out now, and the reason they call it that is because there's goats on the roof. So let's check it out. This market originated in the 70s, kind of as like a stop for people leaving the island and going to Vancouver. Um, and now it's kind of evolved into this little touristy, kitschy spot, which is super fun. And you've got to check it out if you're on your way to Tofino or leaving. We breezed past it this time, but you could also stop at Cathedral Grove in McMillan Provincial Park. I'm just setting into the Wi-Fi now. Uh, something to note for like, two hours before you get to Tofino, you don't really have any service. I do have, I have a little bit here for two hours of the drive on the way here. Like I just, I had nothing until we got here. So um, that's definitely something to keep in mind coming to Tofino. I'm also with TELUS, which is like a pretty big provider here. So if you're with one of the smaller providers, you, you won't have service. So we're staying here at Pacific Sands, which is a hotel option in Tofino. And because we're here with like my whole family, we have one of the guest houses. Um, to be completely honest, this is not something that Nick and I would particularly stay in if it was just the two of us, because we just travel in a different way. Normally we are living the van life and living in our van. So what is interesting about Tofino though, is that there is just different kinds of accommodation for all sorts of budgets. There is registered camping here, and then more so in the town, of Tofino. There's also Hotel Z, which is a more budget option and other lodging options as well. If you are staying at Pacific Sands though, and I only say this because it's such a popular uh, accommodation here in Tofino, it is before the town. So like Nick said, if you are driving in, you're not gonna have a lot of service. So put in your Google Maps while you still have service and not the town of Tofino because the actual town is still like 20 minutes away from here. But we are looking right at the beach. It's so beautiful here. Honestly, I love Tofino so much. I could just live here forever. You stay at Pacific Sands.
We're currently getting wetsuits and we are sorting ourselves out getting boogie boards and some surfboards. So rentals here are for 24 hours, which is great. And you're gonna spend anywhere between like $20 up to like $50, depending on if you're getting a boogie board or like a hard top surfboard. It's October right now, it is cold. I'm, as you can tell, I'm all layered up, um, but people do, go out and surf and you just have a wetsuit with like a hood and gloves and booties and everything um, and it keeps you pretty well warm. So yes, you can surf in October in Tofino. Now the real challenge is getting your wetsuit on <laughs> and taking it off. I'm kind of cold, so I'm excited to get into the water and start moving around to warm up a bit. Are you cold? I'm so hot. You should get a new neck thing. So we just got back from our surfing and we switched into our clothes. Taking off the wetsuit is like half of the workout, but now we have just driven into the actual town of Tofino, which isn't very big, but we are in the co-op here just getting some groceries, which is really great that there is a grocery store here that actually has like a lot of stuff. It's not that tiny, but the prices are a little bit higher. So if you're coming from like Vancouver or something, then maybe get the food in Vancouver before you come here, but it's, it's good. I mean, there's tons of stuff. An entire dairy section, frozen section, meats, chips, toilet paper, everything that you need. So we spent the better half of our morning in the sauna and then doing cold plunges in the ocean, which was like kind of crazy because the waves were a little bit out of control today, um, but it was still a really, really fun morning. And now on our way into town, we are going to the original Taco Fino. Many people have eaten at the various Taco Fino locations in Vancouver, but this trailer parked at the back of a parking lot is the original Taco Fino, and it's a must eat when visiting Tofino. And right at sunset, we're walking on the sunset trail to Pettinger Point. There are plenty of hikes in Tofino, and this is just one of the short ones. We really do recommend checking out the old growth forests here and the western red cedar trees. One of the most sure things that you can expect is rain. Now, as we pack up to head back off Vancouver Island, we're on to our next adventure. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.